Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well you may be wondering while we're looking at the Extra theme here and not the Divi theme. Extra is another great theme that comes bundled when you buy the Elegant Themes Divi package. And we had a question um, on one of our Divi videos. Somebody wanted to make a slider more like this or a carousel more like this where they've got the text at the bottom in a dark little tab there rather than having it in the center which is the default for the Divi slider and the simple answer is yes we've got one here now it's pretty easy to do but we do have to do a bit of coding for this today but don't let that put you off any coding I do I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it so let's get started first thing I want to do is add a new page We'll just call it slider 2. Obviously I want to use the Divi Builder. And I'm going to build from scratch. Okay, put in whatever columns you need. I'm going to just put a single column in right there. And let's go down and find our slider. There it is right there. As you can see, it's put in a bit of content for us by default. I'm going to get rid of the second slide so it's just a static one picture that won't revolve around for us just to make it easier. Then we'll add some more slides when we customize this one. Okay, let's go in there. Just move this slightly out of the way. Let's give it a background. I'll use an image. There we go, and moving on down. Now I'm not going to bother with the title. All I want is a bit of description here because that's all he wanted in the bottom bar there. And I'm not going to have a button either. So if we go up to our text, I'm going to get rid of the title. And I'm also going to get rid of the button. Here's the content. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, so we've got a little heading on top. Don't think I need that period on the end there. And let's get rid of a bit of this. And we'll split it up with some pipes. A bit like that image before put a pipe in here and a pipe is just above the enter key usually it's the straight up with a shift there we go we've got a pipe there and a pipe there this is purely for demonstrations okay so we've got some text there and that's pretty much all we need let's go to our design tab here and I'm going to put an overlay on the text and you can choose your color I want mine to be fairly dark but not fully black so I'm going to make it black I'm going to pull the opacity down just a little bit so we can see through it some but we still got a nice background there that makes it easier for us to read the text okay and let's go into our text and let's left align that great so now we need to go about pushing this down and making it full width. This is where the bit of coding comes in. So let's save this. I'm going to save my page changes and I'm going to publish the page. And the reason I'm going to publish this page is because I'm going to go to the customizer and make it temporarily our front page so we can work with it. So let's go to our customizer. I'm going to go to dashboard, down to appearance, and then to customize. And as my page isn't in the menu, I'm going to temporarily set it as the home page at the home page settings. There's our slider two page. 
All right, now we've got that up, let's go back and we'll get our additional CSS panel up, which is where we're going to write our CSS today. We'll give it a title. It's always a good idea to give your code a title. That's what, if you write a lot of it, it makes it a lot easier to find. Or if you're building a site for somebody else and somebody else has to edit it, it helps them. Okay, so let's say custom slider. All right, now let's inspect our little panel right here. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this today, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. So I'm going to inspect our little panel right here. And let's see, we've got slide description and the green round there that's all padding right there so let's just click on there and we can put it in just below here 80 pb slide description let's say padding zero that's taking any padding away from it we may need to use the important on that to overwrite any previous stars. If we slide down a bit, see if they've got any more in it. Yeah, they've got padding 6, 8%. So let's put the important after that. Don't like to use the important, but sometimes you have to. If you're overriding styles. Great. So that's fine for that. Let's copy this and just paste it into our customizer up here. Control C to copy. Drop down a couple and paste it in here. And the only class we need is this one right here, the description. So I'm going to get rid of those top two and just leave that bottom one. OK, now we want to push it down to the bottom. So let's see what's holding it up. There it is on our ETPB slide content inner. We've got vertical line middle. We want to put it down the bottom. So let's change that to bottom. And again, we'll have to use important because we're overriding a style there. So let's copy this and we'll put it in our customizer. Control C, drop down a couple. Control V to paste. And I'll leave both of those classes there, I think, and don't need the table cell or the width 100 because we haven't changed anything there. Great, so we've got him down the bottom, but he's not quite wide enough. So we've obviously got a bit of padding or margin around there. We want it to be full width there. So let's see if we can't find that. And here it is right here. So let's have a look down. There's some padding right there, ETPB slide. We just uncheck that, now that's full width. So we need to overwrite that with padding zero. We'll get rid of that 6% and again, we'll say important because we're overriding those styles there. Now we can just copy this again. Drop down a couple. Control V to paste. Let's publish our changes here because it's where we want it. We may need to give our actual carousel a fixed height because it may steal the height away from it. We'll see. Let's publish this. Get rid of our customizer now. Let's go back to our page and refresh. Yeah, we've got our little bar, but that's the only height we've got to our slider, which is not going to work. Let's enable our visual builder and give our slider a fixed height. Let's 
let's go in and we'll go to our design tab let's go down to sizing and we'll give it the height that we want it roll down a little bit till we come across height here's the height slider let's bring it down to the size that we want it and it's something like that let's make it 500 picks and you can slide you can type in a value you can fine tune with these little buttons right here too so that looks about right to me so we can start adding some more slides now if we go back up to our content here I'm just going to clone the original one let's go into the second one all I'll do is change out the image and let's go into the third one and again I'll change out the image and let's make our carousel automatic so we'll save that we're back in our main slider settings here go to design let's go to animation I want to make it automatic that's seven seconds between changes let's make it a little quicker four seconds or four thousand milliseconds and let's save our changes actually before we get out of here one thing to bear in mind if you've got other sliders on your website here it's going to affect those as well when you do this if you wanted to just affect one this way go to your advanced tab and give it its own CSS ID that way when you write the code you can put the CSS ID before here for instance if we give this CSS ID of SL1 and this is just an example and save it and you can go in here and before each of these you can put hashtag because it's an ID SL1 do this to all your entries here and it will just affect that particular one but seeing as this is the only one I've got this will work fine so let's publish our changes go back to our page save our changes and exit the visual builder and there we are there you've got your slider now with the text area at the bottom in a little darkened tab now there's one little thing I see there I've got my navigation on there I can just see it behind the date there we can turn that off in the actual settings itself if I just enable the visual builder and we'll go back into the carousel and in the content if we go down to elements turn the controls off that's your little dots there we go and we're good to go so there you have it I hope that answered your question that's a neat little slider to have on your site too so I hope you found that useful today and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.